YouTube, Prepared Wander in the Man Cave, and I've got a Prepared Citizen series video for you today. Um, we're going to be discussing briefly uh, modern Minuteman plate carrier setup. Now, just diving right into this whole thing, um, I've, I've got to make a couple statements. So, for one, if you follow the channel, you do know probably by now that I am not formal mil <clears throat> I am not former military um, I don't have any police training or experience so this whole thing with plate carriers and chest rigs and all that kind of setup stuff is really new to me and I've been learning along the way learning from people that I trust um, on how to do things um, and then just experimenting with stuff, picking up gear, trying it out, see what I think about it. So I know for the average citizen, plate carriers to me seem kind of in intimidating. I mean, a lot of people don't understand them. Uh, there's a lot of information out there. There are a lot of price points. Um, some really high-end expensive carriers uh, along with the plates that go with them. Of course, there's different levels of plates, so that, that's a whole nother thing in itself, trying to figure that all out. So what I thought I'd do um, for this video is just show you one setup um, from one company that is very affordable. Um, I would consider this a great entry level setup for someone who is just getting started, um, trying to figure things out, um, like myself. Um, you know, full disclosure on this, this is nothing that has been tested in the field. I have not taken this out and ran this um, in any way, shape, or form. This is just initial uh, kind of review, look at, uh, share with you guys, if you will, just to get the ball rolling um, because you got to start somewhere. Um, and for some people um, like me, uh, you know, we're starting from ground zero, so what we're going to look at today is um, a plate carrier system that I picked up from One Tigress. Now, One Tigress, I've <clears throat> I have a lot of experience with their products. Um, I've owned um, a TP of theirs, um, several different types of gear, hammocks, um, pa lots of different pouches, and everything that they seem to be making. In my opinion, in my estimation, is that it's all very high quality. It's good stuff. So. I haven't seen anything that um, is not m well made, and but the price point on their stuff is very good. Now they are an overseas manufacturer, so you need to know that going in. Um, but if you're looking just to get started to test the waters, this may be the way to go. Um, now I reviewed very recently a pl uh, backpack of theirs that actually. Um, zips onto a plate carrier and that's what this is it's on here right now you saw it in that video but what I've done with, with this plate carrier I've added a couple things that I wanted to highlight for you um, there's some new pouches that I just got that um, are from one tigress um, I got a radial um, holder and I've got this thing loaded up with with plates loaded mags um, the backpack, um, and also I've added um, an IFAC pouch to the bottom of it. Um, so I just kind of want to walk through uh, real quickly just some initial impressions about this thing. So if you're looking at it, it'll give you a more of an informed um, purchasing decision. So. All right, so here it is in all its glory. Um, what we have here is some additional pouches that don't come with the plate carrier. These are by one, one Tigris, one Tigris. Um, this is their new laser cut Molly mag pouches for rifle mags and same thing for their pistol mags. What's nice about these um, is that they have inserts in them that retain the mags. And there is a Kydex uh, clip that fits uh, all the way down to the bottom. And what happens is when you insert your mag into that, it grabs it and retains it and holds it. So 
Um, it just gives you extra retention. Now, I'm not really sure if um, with that retention, I'm going to need to use the bungee cords. They are included. Um, I think that's, that's gonna be kind of a time will tell thing. We'll have to test it out. One thing to note on these bungees, they do not have cord locks on the back. So they're not gonna be quickly adjustable to different size mags. Um, just something you need to know. That's easily fixed. You could add your own cord locks to it, of course, but unfortunately they don't come with it. Um, but they're very easy to put on and to take off. Uh, Velcro sound is not the mag pouches themselves. That is uh, the bottom of the plate carrier. So I'm trying to undo this strap. I just want to show how this, how these insert in. And it's pretty typical uh, Molly webbing. Nothing unusual. But those weave right on. And there's the back of the pouch and you got some heavy duty snaps. Of course, this uh, material is multi-cam. There's the bottom of the pouch, there's the front. You've got some elastic built into the sides for flex. And then hopefully you can see that, but there's that Kydex insert on the inside. So <clears throat> pistol mags are set up the same way. Now the plate carrier itself has built into it uh, three mag pouches. And if I'm not mistaken, these are actually doubles. So you could go six deep on your mags. Um, of course, with plate carriers, you really have to be careful. This is one thing that I've learned from some of my buddies who are who are more into this stuff than I am, that you can certainly overload the front of a plate carrier. Too many mags, um, too much stuff. <clears throat> so what happens is um, it adds a lot of weight, but also um, it makes it more difficult to get in the prone position when training, um, and that's really important. So the sides of the plate carrier itself have molly webbing all the way around and then goes all the way to the back. So a lot of options for attaching your stuff. You don't have to necessarily add pouches if you don't want to, but you got that ability. So here it is on. Um, definitely not the lightest thing in the world, but that's not the carrier's fault. That's the armor and that's the loaded mags. Um, but um, it is comfortable and I feel like there's plenty of room for adjustment. Rides pretty well. Now, I think I have this high up enough. You guys can tell me if this is setting up high enough or it's too low. I think it's I think it's high enough. So there it is all broken down. Um, you know, it, it's a cool design. It's got a lot of features to it. Um, it's not super expensive. Um, make sure that when you're done with the video, if you're interested in this, go down to the description. Um, there is um, links and I believe there's a discount code set up for this. So if you want to purchase this, you've got that to go with. Um, that'll save you a little bit of money. Um, they are selling these through Amazon and also directly on the One Tiger site. Um, Amazon's probably the best way to go, uh, just because you know you can get the shipping here in the United States. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's just you know, of course, different colors, different variations. Um, but this is their newest plate carrier they just come out with and um, I'm real happy with it. Um, before this one, I had a Condor, and it was okay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but it certainly did not have all the features that this had. It didn't have the built-in um, mag pouches, 
it didn't have the level of adjustability um, I really feel that this had and it certainly didn't have the shoulder padding and straps and that that kind of cutaway design um, you know the slim shoulder pad design I really like that um, it just makes it more comfortable so you know I think overall it's a pretty decent choice for someone who's just getting into this stuff and wants a play carrier you know if you're if you're going to be taking um, a class this year um, a run and gun class you and you have to have a play carrier this may be the way to go um, that way you're not shelling out a ton of money because um, some of this gear gets really expensive um, crazy expensive and um, you know there's nothing wrong with this this is not uh, cheap um, airsoft crap um, some of that stuff is, but this is not. I, I've, I've found this to be pretty decent. Also, there is a link for a new website for Prepared Wander, preparedwander.com. That is my new website that actually has articles that go along with videos. I'll be adding content every week to that. Um, it's just getting started. There's a couple articles up there right now, some older videos. Um, but as we go, we'll be adding more stuff to it. And of course, that's also going to be a great place to link to uh, buying um, Prepared Wander patches and stickers. And there's going to be links to, of course, the Facebook group and Instagram and all that good stuff. Um, as always, I really appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching my videos, and we will see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer.